Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. This week I am going to be doing a pour I haven't done in a long, long time, which is a bloom, however, this time on a cake spinner. I did a small little bloom way back when, when I first began to pour, and this is my first go on a real cake spinner with a bigger canvas than I had initially. So this is a 10 by 10 canvas, and I'm going to give this a shot. Okay, and having used some titanium white as my pillow paint, I decided to go with some ivory black. As my first layer of color now, I was being very slow and kind of cautious with how much paint I was letting drip off my stick. Because again, not, not having done a bloom in quite a while, I wanted to make sure that I A, had enough paint, but B, didn't overdo it either, so I was very careful. Now, I did use some metallic purple I had never used before, on this particular bloom, which I thought was a good contrast to the black. And in the daylight, this metallic uh, purple is a very, very nice color and gives a very slight sheen to it. So I wanted to give it a shot as my second color as well. Okay, and being a big crimson fan, I wanted to use a little bit in this pour. So I wanted to give it a bit of color being, I know this crimson is quite bright, so I wanted to not put down too much red and moved on to my metallic cobalt blue being one of my favorites. I think it's one of the best metallics I have in my tool belt. So I want it to be the primary color of my blue. So I did lay on quite a bit of blue, which for me, that's fine. Um, I want this to be the primary color of the pour itself. So I wanted to lay it on thick and see how things shook out. Okay, and as for my cell activator, I've always so far used Amsterdam Titanium White with a bit of Floetrol and a few drops of Penetrol as my activator for any kind of cell reactions for lacing, for example. And I feel like I might have used a bit too much in the center here, but ultimately I think it works out fine in the long run. So one thing I didn't realize when I began to blow down in this pour is that that paint is incredibly heavy. I was probably very, very too thick on my consistency for what I uh, mixed up prior. So again, lesson learned on what to do and not to do for the sake of your consistency. So this thick paint was a little too dense, so it was hard to push around. So I gave it two or three good um, blows down towards the canvas, making sure to have those cells spread out just a little bit before I moved on to more turns. And now looking back on this pour, I, there's a few things I would do different next time for sure. With these particular sections, I'm blowing out with that black as the tail end of the lacing. I would have left that alone for a while, letting the, the cells and lacing form on their own and backed up and walked away for you know a good 20 seconds or so because I was really happy with how the lacing looked. Now, I wasn't quite sure how hard to give this a spin, but thought, hey, you've got to start somewhere, so let's just give it a whirl. And begun to go one way, and wanted to balance it out, so I decided to spin it again and tilt some off, and that's, of course, a good old dollar store Rubbermaid that worked just fine as my fence, we'll call it, for the splash. And looking at the bloom as I was trying to finish up here, I was quite happy with how the design turned out. I thought it was quite pretty and nothing like I had done before so I was quite happy with how this was turning out. Now of course for this bloom I would really appreciate any feedback or comments you guys have on how you think I did. Again this is my first bloom attempt in easily 12 months and again not to the scale so how did I do? How, what was my color scheme like to you? Would you try tried another color option or difference that was a bit different than this one. Um, I was incredibly happy with how this turned out. I thought that looking at on the overhead, the very cool and small lacing effects looked very neat. And some cells that popped up really surprised me. So the, I guess the, the combination of the color scheme and the lacing looked very neat. And I was quite happy with how this turned out. So again, I, I appreciate any feedback on the entire pour, how I did. Rate me 1 to 10, let me know how I did, and this was a super fun technique I've been wanting to try for a long, long time, and finally broke out the cake spinner to do it, so I'm, I'm happy I did it. Anyhow, if you have enjoyed this video, please click that like button, 
and consider subscribing to the channel as well. And also, if you haven't enjoyed this video, click this next playlist here to see a few more swipes I've done in the past. Thanks again.